And on this Juneteenth and eve of a historic baseball game between the San Francisco Giants and the St. Louis Cardinals, a giant of the game is being remembered as the world of baseball mourns the loss of legendary player Willie Mays. New at 6, Fox News' Patrick Clark has more on Mays' impact in the majors and on this Midwest town. At the St. Louis American, St. Louis's only African-American newspaper continuously published since 1928, Alvin Reed and staff at work Wednesday on updating their website and the latest issue of the St. Louis American acknowledging Willie Mays and his impact. And just for the way he played, he could hit, he could run, he could steal bases, great defensive player. I mean, 24 all-star games, who does that? You know, just a great, great player. And I was, uh, I, I did get to meet the man a couple of times. Uh, once when I worked for USA Today Baseball Weekly uh, in Washington, D.C., I saw him at the Gold Glove Banquet. And that was the first time I had met him. And uh, just a gentleman all the way around. And a class act and just a tremendous baseball player. Getting his start at Rick Wood Field with the Birmingham Black Barons in the Negro League, Willie Mays' legacy for how he played the game spread nationwide. And here in St. Louis, beyond the few times a year when his National League Giants would come to town. I consider him the best baseball, greatest baseball player of all time, even though I've never seen him play. And, you know, I saw him play a little bit at the end of his career. But just on watching film and just stories and everything and the catch that he made in the World Series, you look at, he hit 660 home runs in the worst possible city and ballpark, San Francisco's Candlestick Park, wind, cold. The Say Hey Kid, as he was known, will be remembered at the Rickwood Field game number 24 with the Giants, and number one in the hearts of many. When we were at baseball practice, it was, you know, two hands above your head, but Sandlot on the playground, it was the Willie Mays basket catch. And everybody did it, and, uh, you know, but you knew he was going to catch every baseball that came to him. When you watched him play, if it was anywhere near him, you knew Willie Mays was going to catch it. In the downtown West neighborhood, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News. Willie Mays is being honored tomorrow night during Major League Baseball's tribute to the Negro Leagues. A mural of the baseball icon was unveiled today near Rickwood Field, where he started his career with the Birmingham Black Barons in 1948 before being signed by the San Francisco Giants in 1950. And tomorrow's game will feature the Cardinals and Giants. Coverage begins at 430. The game starts at 615 right here on Fox 2.